the Honorable Member for Cumberland Colchester. Mr. Speaker, Commissioner Lucky states on the audio, audio file, and I quote, the minister wants to speak to me. Once again, I drop the ball, close quote. It goes on, and I quote, I've apologized to the minister. I'm waiting for the Prime Minister to call me so I can apologize, end of quote. Ooh. The former Minister of Public Safety needs to stop the deception, the fiction, the fabrication, and the disinformation. He needs to respect Nova Scotians and resign for the actions and political interference in the investigations of the death of 22 Nova Scotians and an unborn child. Will the Prime Minister accept the resignation of this minister? Here, here. Right, Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, as always, our thoughts are with the families as they continue to grieve, and my efforts are focused squarely, as they have been since day one, on supporting them. As the Commissioner and the Minister have clearly stated, the decision on what information is released and when is the police's alone, and that was fully respected. The Honourable Member for Kildonan St. Paul. Mr. Speaker, on this Liberal RCMP political interference scandal, the Minister continues to avoid accountability by using very specific legal words concerning ministerial directives to the RCMP. But we're not asking about legal directives, we're asking about political interference, Mr. Speaker. Did the Minister, his Chief of Staff, or anyone from his office discuss the forthcoming Liberal gun control legislation with the RCMP Commissioner or her staff between the dates of the Nova Scotia mass murder and the April 28th press conference? Did they politically Criticize the deaths of 22 people, Mr. Speaker. Okay. Yes or no? The right honourable prime minister. Speaker, Canadians expect their government to respond quickly and effectively to crises and answer their questions. So, but it's interesting to see how Conservative politicians are changing their tune. I will remind the member that her colleagues from Leeds, Grenville, Thousand Islands and Rideau Lakes and West Nova asked on at least three occasions between May 20th and May 28th, 2020, when will all of this information finally be made transparent and public? I'm focused on supporting the families affected by this tragedy and taking action to ensure that it never happens again. The Honourable Member for Kildonan St. Paul. of this cover-up is coming out every day. We've just learned that the RCMP Director of Media Relations, who also happens to be a former Liberal staffer, Mr. Speaker, is being investigated for covering up the audio recording that's at the centre of this entire scandal. That same audio recording has the Commissioner directly contradicting the Minister. There are lies here, Mr. Speaker. So who's getting fired, the Minister, the Commissioner, or both, Mr. Speaker? The Right Honourable Prime Minister. Speaker, as all Canadians know, when an emergency arises, accurate and timely information is crucial. As the Commissioner stated, keeping the government informed through timely and accurate information sharing is not interference. It is standard procedure, and these situational updates are provided without compromising the operational integrity of an investigation. End quote. Canadians rightfully had questions about the public communications that occurred during and after our country's most devastating intended mass casualty. That's why that's a focus of our inquiry. Okay. The Honourable Member for Shkutsmi Le Fjall. Mr. Speaker, the former Minister of Emergency Preparedness politi politicized a, a criminal investigation and the worst mass murder in the history of Canada. He can deny it all he wants, but the evidence is overwhelming. He pressured the RCMP Commissioner to disclose sensitive information to advance the Liberal agenda, whereas he had already been notified that this information could undermine the investigation. Today, here's my question. When is the Prime Minister going to fire him, the Right Honourable Prime Minister? Mr. Speaker, obviously, our thoughts go to the families who are grieving, and our efforts are focused on assistance to bring to them. As the Commissioner and the Minister have already said many times, the decision concerning the information disclosed and when to do so is up, was up to the police, and it was fully respected in this situation and in all other situations. The Honourable Member for Rivière du Nord. Mr. Speaker, at the Rouleau Commission, three different police forces confirmed that the Emergencies Act was not necessary to end the convoy occupation in Ottawa. The RCMP